Hey girl, hey, it's Lil Kardashian and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a full coverage sweat proof foundation routine for the summer. Now I know a lot of you guys prefer not to wear too much makeup in the summer because you're like my face is gonna melt, it's too hot for all that makeup. But sometimes we gotta do what we gotta do. We have events to go to, we have dinners, graduations. Maybe you just want to be beat and go to Sephora because you don't want them to look at you like, does this girl even wear makeup? That's me. I always go to Sephora and MAC and Ulta with the beat face because I want them to know, I want them to know that I know I know what I'm doing, okay? And maybe even give me a job application because my face is so beat. So if you guys are interested in learning how to get a sweat proof makeup look, then please stay tuned. Okay, girls, so I already did my eyes off camera because we're focusing on the base today, which is our face. No matter what, for a long-lasting foundation, for a long-lasting face, you want to use a primer. So I'm going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and I believe this is just a smoothing primer. And another thing to remember, you do not want to apply a lot of primer. If you do apply a lot of this primer on your skin, that's how your face will be looking oily and greasy. So I'm just gonna use about this much for my whole entire face. I first kind of just dot it in areas. I always put it on my nose because that's where my pores uh, stick out the most. And then what I do is I kind of swirl it around and then I pat it in. You wanna be very gentle with your face because ain't nobody got time for wrinkles, okay? The next step after applying your primer is usually foundation, right? But no. For long-lasting sweat-proof makeup, I actually learned this trick from a makeup artist. She's on YouTube, but I don't believe that she really makes videos like that. So she's mostly on Instagram and Twitter. Her name is Paris Hilton, and I'll put her name on the screen. I actually learned this tip from her. You want to go in with a translucent powder on top of your primer. This will set your primer in place all day. I actually tested this theory out before I brought it to you guys. I think I went to either my brother's graduation or my cousin's graduation and I put on my primer, I put on my powder, and my makeup didn't move and I was in the sun all day, you guys. So, you just want to go in with a powder brush. This is actually the wrong powder brush. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques powder brush and just powder your face like you normally would and if you don't have the translucent powder you can skip this step but I do recommend you putting your primer on and then letting it soak into your skin for about five minutes before you apply your foundation so not too much powder but enough to set all of the primer we placed in place now it is foundation time so today I'm going in with my favorite. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. Even though it's called match, matte and poreless, I mean, it makes my face matte, but not matte to the point where I'm like, oh my gosh, my face is so dry. So that's why I believe oily skins can use this. If you are oily skin girl and you tried this out and you didn't like it or you did like it, please leave me a comment down below because I'm actually really interested. My skin is combination. I, I'm not really leaning on dry skin or leaning on oily skin. Um, I'm like snag dab in the middle. I don't really, my face doesn't really release any oils. I do sweat a lot, but sweating is different from having oily skin. Um, so that's really why, another reason why I'm showing you guys sweat proof makeup because I sweat a lot and I hate it, but my makeup does not budge, girl. So yeah, I'm going in with my matte and poreless and I am in the color 330 Toffee. And of course, I am going in with my Damp Beauty Blender. And do not forget to drag it along your neck and near your ear, maybe even on top of your ear if you didn't put on earrings yet, because you do not want it to look like you're wearing a mask. After foundation comes concealer. I am using my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is medium beige. 
don't really have any specific tips for allowing your concealer to last all day except for setting it with a powder. Um, and I actually don't know many people who don't set their concealer with a powder. So let's go in with our concealer. If you guys are beginners, I actually have a foundation, contouring, and highlighting routine on my channel. So if you guys need to watch that video before you watch this video, then go ahead. It just shows you basically how to apply concealer, bronzer, and foundation. This video, I'm not really specifically teaching you guys how to apply it. I'm just giving you little tips and tricks on what you can add to your everyday routine if you need a little more coverage. Again, I'm going to go back in with my damp beauty blender. like that and then immediately after depending on what concealer um, you use I don't really find that my LA girl pro concealer creases too fast but if you do have a concealer that does crease really quickly underneath your eyes then automatically right away you want to go in with some powder so today I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder you guys can use this you guys can go in with the Rimmel London translucent setting powder. However, for women of color, I don't recommend this powder for baking or even setting the face because it does have really bad flashback. I only used it to set my primer because I'm putting foundation over it and it isn't going to make a difference. But uh, for women of color, I do recommend the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. It is pricey, so if you are a beauty on a budget, then... I would recommend the Air Spun Translucent Setting Powder. I believe it's only five or six dollars from Walmart or I think CVS, maybe Target. I asked Vicki Logan here on YouTube um, if she experienced flashback with the powder, and she said she didn't because I haven't personally tried the powder, but I've seen so many people using it and. I hear nothing but good things and the big thing that I was focusing on was if it had bad flashback and if you guys don't know what flashback is it's when you take a picture with the flash on and your face is white so in person you'll look like this but on camera you'll look like a ghost that means the translucent powder that you are using or your foundation that you are using is too light for your skin um I'm not really going to bake today I'm just going to set my powder in place so for a full coverage face, you can bake or you can set your powder. To me, I don't really see a difference in longevity of doing either. Like if I just set my concealer like this with translucent powder, I see that it does last the same amount of time as if I were baking. So I'm just going to set this in place. So now let's move on to bronzer. Okay, so with bronzer, it's pretty simple if you're using a powder. Um, my powder bronzer, I'm going to use the NYX Matte Bronzer in the color Deep. But before that, you guys see on my channel that I do like to cream contour. So for cream contouring today, I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Espresso. Things to remember about using cream products is that you always want to set them with the powder. Never, 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 never put a cream on top of the powder. So, if you are going to cream contour, do your foundation, do your concealer, do your cream contouring, and then set everything with the powder. Never put a cream over a powder. So. I haven't set my face. The only places I set were my under eye area. So I am going to go in with espresso on the cheeks. So you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to pick up a little mirror. Now, before I set my cream contour with 
the powder I'm going to go in again with some um, translucent setting powder and I'm just going to clean it up underneath so we have a precise contour and I am going to bake underneath my contour so I'm just going to leave the translucent powder there a little bit like that now we're going to go in with our powder bronzer and like I said before this one is from NYX it is in the color deep I think this is only around eight bucks so it's pretty affordable I'm going to go back in with the same brush I use pick up a little product tap off the excess and go in Some people are afraid that if they do go in with two bronzers on top of one another, that their bronzer will be too dark and too harsh. But girls, all you have to do is just blend it out. So after you do place the product down, kind of blend it with the brush you're using, then go in with maybe a fluffier brush and blend everything out. And for my forehead, I'm actually going to take a lighter bronzer. I'm taking my NYX uh, Blush and Bronzer Duo in Wine and Dine. And I'm going to put this powder where we contoured on my forehead. I actually learned this trick from Paris Hilton as well. Um, you just want to go in with like a lighter bronzer on your forehead compared to where we contoured down here. And like me, if you find your forehead contour too harsh, I'm just going to go back in with my Beauty Blender, which is, you know, what I use for my foundation. And we're going to just blend things on the forehead. You can also use this on your cheek contour, but to blend this out, I'm just going to go in with a fluffier brush. I'm not going to be wearing an extreme lip today, so I'm just going to go in with my brown lip liner. And then I'm going in with Bow and Arrow by Kat Von D. Like that, and now we are going to dust away our translucent powder. Even as you dust it away, if your contour is too harsh, just go in and go over it with the brush. The step that you don't want to forget at all is to go in with setting spray. Setting spray is going to set every single product we put on our face in place. Now I am all out of setting spray, but to refresh your face, you want to go in with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. It doesn't set your face, but it refreshes your face. So if you don't have a setting spray, I suggest just using MAC Fix Plus. It gives you a little bit of dew along with uh, refreshness. Affordable setting sprays. I don't really prefer the NYX setting spray, but I think that is around six or seven bucks, so it's pretty affordable. Now for highlighter. I don't really have tips and tricks for allowing your highlighter to stay all day except for putting on your highlighter and then spraying your face with setting spray it's sure not to budge so today i'm going in with my mac oh darling highlighter a little on the nose like i always do and a little on cupid's bow oh and p.s if you guys do not own any blotting wipes blotting sheets go get them because I say full coverage I say sweat proof but because I am a sweater I still sweat but my makeup doesn't move anywhere because I have blotting sheets blotting sheets are to remove the excess oils and even sweat off of your skin without removing your makeup so go get them with my sweat proof foundation routine I don't sweat as much makeup off as I usually would these are the NYX blotting papers in green tea you don't have to get these specific ones but they are the cheapest that I found so go get them I got them at Ulta thank you later so that was the last step in my full coverage sweat proof 
basically foundation routine. If you guys really enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment down below. I really do like interacting with you guys and making new friends. I'm Lo Kardashian. I'll see you girls soon in a new video. Bye.